what do you think of Kane Hunter? I mean, Kane's here, so I, I'm sure you had some uh, uh, some scenes to work with in that film. Uh, do you still keep in touch? Do you still talk? How is working with Kane Hodder? Um, well, Kane is a character in real life as well. I'm sure all of you that met him know that. <laughs> um, he was he was lovely on set. Uh, we choreographed everything. We discussed everything. He was always very kind. Um, but just before we were about to shoot, we you know, he said, I need to prepare and I need to separate us and I can't talk to you. And there was like kind of a strange energy that came over him that kind of creeped me out, which is great. And, um, and you know, so we occasionally, you know, like we see play, you know, each other here and he's always a, a wonderful guy. We don't really keep in touch in the sense that we're emailing all the time, but uh, you know, he's, he's a, a lovely man and and I've had I had a great time working with him and um, he made it because I'd never been killed before uh, he made it as real as possible but with also being very concerned about making sure not to hurt me and you know how we were gonna do it and I you know so we, we just went through all of that and discussed it and and did it piece by piece by piece and I think it turned out really well can you tell us a little bit more about that death scene I mean it's it's an interesting uh, yeah. death in itself. So. <laughs> well, the, the great thing was is a week before there was five days, five or six days that we did all of the prosthetic work. So we had, they had to do a full head cast. So it, it was like I was in a sensory dep deprivation chamber. That was about 20 to 30 minutes. And then they did a full body cast as well. They did, um, they checked on they matched the color of my skin, they used real human hair, eyelashes, this everything to make us look identical. So there was 10 bodies lined up, 10 heads lined up, just sitting there all wearing the same outfit, which was really strange and we're all like perfectly proportioned. Uh, so we did all of that. Um, the makeup um, artist, which also special effects, uh, was the same who worked for The Fly, who won an Academy Award, so he was amazing he did all the casting of my face and they made prosthetic pieces of my eyes uh, we worked through all of that we shot it in pieces I did the stunt where I jumped off of a springboard and slammed into the window over and over again and um, bruised myself from knee up to hip which I didn't feel at the time because my ad adrenaline was going and uh, went back to the my trailer and I was like oh I did some damage to my legs but uh, it was yeah, it was it was fun. It was scary as well. Like you kind of get your adrenaline gets going, you get caught up into it. And um, the 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 thing with my face, we shot it in an aquarium. So I went up on a step ladder and I had to scream going in, hold my face still. They had to do a series of shots to do the CGI. They put a mask on me. So there was a whole bunch of things for I don't know how long it was. What a minute and a half or two minutes it took I think up to two weeks to shoot it. So.